Hello and welcome back. So today, after my Phantom Blood video, I decided, hey, why not make a uh, Battle Tendency video? So yeah, why not? So let's talk about Phantom, I mean, Battle Tendency, and let's talk about the story first. So, Joseph Joestar, yeah, he's the grandson of uh, Jonathan Joestar, and he ends up meeting a guy by the name of uh, Smokey. And he ends up, yeah, befriending him, I guess. Um, so basically, he finds out his uncle, um, Speedwagon gets killed by a monk, so he suspects this guy named Straitso, who is a friend of his grandfather, grandfather named Jonathan. Uh, his name uh, yeah, Straitso, so he ends up beating Straitso with this iconic line called "Your next line is," which is so funny to me. Joseph is legit goaded, so he ends up beating Straitso. He goes to New Mexico and ends up uh, stopping uh, Pillarman there and saving his grand uh, his grandfather's friend, Speedwagon. So. Uh, with the help of a German who definitely isn't a bad guy, definitely. So uh, yeah, he, the German guy sacrificed his life to uh, fight the pill, uh, destroy the Pillarman. But oh, oh, the Pillarman's actually alive! And yeah, basically Joseph defeats the Pillarman with, uh, with sunlight, I guess, and Hamon. I mean the water, the reflection of the water or something, I forgot. And um, he ends up beating this guy named Caesar Zeppeli. So he ends up fighting this guy Caesar Zeppeli, but they end up, you know, teaming up. Though they still hate each other, even though they teamed up. So uh, basically, um, they end up going to the secret layer, and they end up getting destroyed by the Pillar Men, by the rest of the Pillar Men, who there are actually still three of them, and they get humbled by Wamu. And so basically, Wamu gives jo Joseph a chance by not killing him, but by um. Um, by giving him a ring that can only that would end up killing him by the, by thirty days, so thirty days or something I forgot. So basically, um, he only has like a month to prepare to fight uh, Wamu again because Wamu respected Joseph as a smart warrior. So yeah, he gave him another chance. So yeah, since now Joseph is about to die, they decided to hey to stop that they should just try training, and they trained with their coach Lisa Lisa. So basically, Lisa Lisa trained them uh, with to get better at Hamon, to get better at their greeting, and Joseph speaks on Lisa Lisa for some reason. After that, uh, before actually before that, before that whole thing happened, he ends up beating a guy named ACDC, one of the Pillarmen, after his constructor, after Joseph's constructor just died. So um, yeah, well, uh, ACDC is actually still alive, and he ends up beating ACDC's brain or something. Um, yeah, so he. And the rest of the crew goes to a snowy place and ends up meeting cars there who ends up fighting the German guy, Van Stroheim. Forgot to mention his name. So uh yeah, Joseph and Cars went off to run for the Stone Heart of Asia and he ends up winning against the race. So yeah, by cars. So basically end up going to the mansion where the pillar men are hiding. But Joseph disagreed to not go there yet. But Caesar still decided to go there, so yeah, kinda sucks, doesn't it? So uh, Caesar ends up dying, rip, bozo. And, but Wamu respected Caesar, so he not, did not destroy the bubble that Caesar gonna give to jo Joseph. So yeah, Joseph kept on crying. He, he says his cigarette was backwards, and um, after that, uh, some silly shenanigans happened. They end up, uh, ha Joseph and Wamu end up having a race with the horses, and basically. Cars end up uh, cheating in the fight against Lisa by destroying her. So uh, Joseph defeats Cars, but actually ends up having the stone mask in the red zone of Asia and thanks to the UV lights by Von Stroheim, he ends up becoming the ultimate life form, Shadow. So Joseph ends up using his smart tactics to defeat uh, Cars, and Cars loses his brain cell, he loses his thinking, and he ends up being a rock in space. So he's te still technically alive. Yeah, and that's it for Battle Tendency, I guess. So I also I forgot to mention this that um a lot of the characters or like stuff in JoJo are either based on musical references. So yeah, thanks Arak for making me get into uh, some bands or musical artists because of like JoJo stuff, either the stands or like characters or even seat street streets like over seat over street something. So yeah. Uh, uh, battle Tendency is a pretty good part, and yeah, the fights are definitely way better in Battle Tendency than Phantom Blood because in Battle Tendency definitely has more thinking. But my only problem is that Hamon became on magic thing, became its own self, and it had its rules. And like with Stance, this has its own rules. Like if a person is very far away from its range, then you can attack that your enemy. But yeah, I feel like my only problem with the Hamon is like I'm think it's just like it became its own thing. It didn't it had its own set of rules. So I'm glad Hamon, you know, is gone. So yeah. 
the Pamon, I guess. But oh my god, that ending in Valency is really emotional to me. Um, Joseph is uh, shown to be alive. I'm glad. I actually thought he was gonna die in the end of Battle Tennessee. Um, I'm happy he just came back to death. Actually, he came back to life like two times. Wow. Joseph really goated. And um, it's just so sad to see all of the characters just die. At least. At least um, Irina gets to be with her loved ones before she dies, but so sad. Speedwagon dies alone. Hey, at least Lisa, Lisa, Lisa gets to be with um, with some actor, I guess. But that was Stroheim died from a r random Russian soldier. Apparently, he was a stand user or something. I don't know. Um, yeah. So basically, I think Joseph to me is one of my favorite characters. In in JoJo, he's definitely a go to JoJo star, but it's not definitely the best JoJo. Not in, my, not in my top 5 definitely, but still a good Jojo either way, so... He's a great character, I love his... Your next line is really... He really, for me, kinda carried the part for me, not gonna lie. Um, I think Caesar is a, a solid enough character. He's a good... Pretty good Zeppelin, not gonna lie. I really like his backstory, I really like his death, his theme is amazing, and... Um, can we talk about the fact that his death to me is actually very sad, and... I really wish we had more Caesar. It's kinda sad that their last chat... It ends up being a fight in Battle and Sea. You know, the last conversation with Joseph and Caesar is a, ends up being a fight. Kinda sad, actually. And, you know, they never get to talk again. Joseph never hears his voice. So, yeah. Um, I do think that's great. And I feel like my only problem with Battle and Sea is that, again, DC is a meh character. The villains are meh. Wamu and ACDC are the only good ones. And. The soundtrack of JoJo is amazing. I forgot to mention that that the OST and it's just amazing in every way. Joseph's theme is amazing. Um, Caesar's theme, which is really emotional, is also his death theme, which is kind of <laughs> interesting. I actually love them. I just love it. The OST of Battle Dance is amazing. It's just as good as like part once. The opening of uh, Solchino Sadame is very good. Uh, Roundabout is a great ending, and of course. The opening for Battle Tennessee Bloody Stream is very good, so yeah, thank you Kodo for making that banger as opening. So yeah, I still do, I mean, I feel like Battle Tennessee is an amazing part, and definitely is one of my favorite parts out there, so yeah. I give it an 8 out of 10 if I'm being honest, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, bye!